This video is sponsored by Rocket Money. Save more and spend less by easily tracking your finances with Rocket Money using the link in the description. Brandon was beginning to feel stir-crazy. The novelty of being out in the woods alone had already begun to wear off, and now he was just feeling anxious and isolated. He had only initially planned on being out here for a few days, and now, eight days in, he wasn't even sure what he was doing anymore. The whole thing was a desperate attempt to try to uncover some ultimate clarity and truth in life to discover the purpose of things and find his true self. Wanting to be like Henry David Thoreau or Christopher McCandless, he had decided to go into the woods and see what was left when everything was distilled down. But he hadn't discovered anything. Brandon concluded that it was time to pack the whole thing up. He packed up his camping equipment, his tent, his sleeping bag, his pillow, his lantern, his small stove, and everything else he brought with him, and he began to make his way back down the trail to the small town several miles away where he had left his car. His head hung lower going this direction. Just after converging onto the main trail, Brandon noticed what looked like a mid-sized group of hikers approaching him in the distance. Once he got close enough, he gave the group the obligatory hiker head nod and smile with a, Hey, how you doing? Before he could even complete the gesture, however, a woman toward the front of the group stopped and said, Hey, are you here for the Southpaw Eco Village Farm Project? We had some confusion about where to meet, just want to make sure we don't have any stragglers. Nope, not me, Brandon said, shaking his head and scrunching his lips a bit. Nope, well never mind then. Have a great hike, the woman said. Thanks, you too, Brandon responded, continuing on his way. After a few steps, Brandon stopped. He subtly turned his head back around toward the group and stared at them for a moment, his mouth scrunching up even tighter. Wait, hold up! He shouted back toward the group. The group stopped and turned around. Brandon half ran back up to them. What is the Southpaw Eco Village Farm Project? He asked hesitantly. It's a permaculture based eco village project. We're developing a small community focused on restoring and sustaining local ecosystems and agriculture. Our site is just a few miles up the trail. The woman pointed in front of her, the same direction Brandon had come from. What's, um, required to join? Brandon asked, scratching the back of his head. The woman smiled. Well, at the moment, just the ability to walk a few miles in that direction, a pioneering spirit, and a willingness to help. Okay, I'd like to join then. Wow, okay, great. Come on in, the woman said, gesturing toward the group. Around an hour later, Brandon and the rest of the group arrived at the site. The same woman he initially spoke with, along with two other individuals, briefly showed Brandon around. It was a large plot of land with eight mid-sized cabins, several large white tents, a scattering of smaller tents, makeshift infrastructure, and several open areas for farming. Throughout the rest of the day, and the several days that followed, Brandon worked with the community to help build and maintain various infrastructural systems, prep and maintain crops, allocate resources, clean and upkeep the property and surrounding area, and so on. He spent most of his days working, walking the nearby trails, reading, and talking with other community members, many of which he now considered friends. The work was fairly arduous, but Brandon mostly enjoyed his time. Still, however, he hadn't uncovered any sort of big revelation about life or himself. He didn't feel any different. No wilderness bliss. No true self. No clarity of purpose. Nothing. Around two weeks in, another group showed up to join the community. With them, they brought unsettling news. There was a potential missing person in the area who had recently gotten lost while hiking. The details were minimal, and since there was no cell phone reception or internet at the village, there was no way of easily finding out any additional information. The new group, however, informed everyone that a large search was being conducted in the area by local authorities and search and rescue, and that it was believed to be very time sensitive. Immediately, the whole community took on the role of assisting in the search. For the rest of the day and night, the community split up and surveyed the surrounding woods. Several police officers, wilderness search and rescue members, and local volunteers also soon showed up, converging with the community and providing those who they encountered with more details and instructions. Brandon diligently and intensely searched the surrounding trails by himself. By the end of the night, no one found anyone. The next day, the search continued. Brandon spent most of the early morning searching the surrounding areas by himself again. At around noon, he returned to the village to regroup and fill up on water. The village was quiet. There were only a couple other community members, a couple individuals who appeared to be volunteers, and two search and rescue officers. Brandon greeted the small group as he collected a few items. 
While he was filling up his canteen, one of the search and rescue officers approached him. You out there searching by yourself? The officer asked. Brandon looked up. Yeah, but I'm staying on or near the trails. I'm pretty familiar with the area at this point. Hmm. Okay. Well, do you mind showing me and my partner to the East Valley Trail? We're not as familiar with some of the newer, more obscure paths out here, and that's where we've been assigned next. Sure, yeah. I was planning on heading in that direction myself. Oh, perfect. Brandon finished collecting his items and then left back out into the woods with the two officers. I'm Alan, by the way, the same officer said, reaching out and shaking Brandon's hand. This is Jesse. Alan pointed at the other officer. Brandon shook Jesse's hand. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Brandon. You look familiar. Are you from Southpaw? Alan asked Brandon. No. Hmm. Weird. They continued walking in silence for a moment. What do you guys think the odds are that we find them? Brandon asked the officers with a somber tone. Hmm. Hard to say. At this point, it's not looking great. Three days in, with no real leads or prospect, it's never a good sign. Jesse responded. And that's just from the time they've been reported as missing. We don't even know how long it's actually been. Alan added. Yikes, Brandon said. Yeah, the individual's parents say they haven't been able to get a hold of them. No one has. Only lead we have is from a friend who said the individual told them they were going for a short hike out here over the weekend, but then they never came back. Jesus, Brandon said. Yeah, tough way to go out, Jesse said. Getting lost is a terrifying feeling, but the key is to not panic. The more you panic, the more you try, the more you flail, the more you force things, the worse it gets. The people who survive are the ones who stay calm, trust their intuition, and stay the course. Hmm, Brandon mumbled. The three continued walking in silence for a moment. Brandon thought to himself. His face began contorting a bit. Do you guys have a picture of the person by chance? He asked. Um, yeah, hold on, Alan said as he began to dig through one of his pockets. He pulled out a crumpled up piece of paper, unfolded it, and handed it to Brandon. Brandon stared down at it. Have you seen him? Alan exclaimed. Oh shit, Brandon said, his eyes wide, his face muscles loosening. He looked back up at the officers. This is me. Alan grabbed the picture from Brandon and held it up in front of Brandon's face, comparing it side by side. The picture showed a young, clean-shaven male. The officer put his other hand up, covering Brandon's beard. Oh my god, Alan said. He grabbed his radio. We found him. Copy. Where was he? A voice responded. He was helping us look, Alan said in a frustrated, self-deprecating tone. What? The voice said back with confusion. Yeah, he's with us, looking, Alan explained. He wasn't even missing, he just has a beard. Okay, copy. Great, well, I'll let everyone know, the voice on the radio concluded. Alan put his radio back down. Jesus, I obviously had no idea, Brandon quickly said. Shit, kid, your parents were worried sick. You ever heard of sending a text message before you disappear into a commune? Jesse said with a sharpness in his voice. Yeah, it's just not really the relationship I have with them. I guess I didn't account for the no service part, Brandon said while rubbing the corner of his brow. That's pretty funny, huh? Alan said after a brief moment of silence. This whole time, you thought you were looking for someone else, and so you were looking for nobody. We found the person, but the person was never even missing. They were a part of the search party the whole time. In that moment, it hit Brandon, the revelation he had been looking for. He hadn't found anything because the logic he had been using to look was all wrong. And it was in the strange, inverted logic of this bizarre situation that he realized the truth. An important part of having a life in which we feel comfortable and capable of exploring ourselves, the world, and so on, is having a healthy relationship with one's finances so as to better have the space and means to do so. This video sponsor, Rocket Money, is an all-in-one finance platform that makes it easy for anyone to do just that. Manage and lower bills, create budgets and smart savings accounts, monitor your credit score, track your net worth, and more, all in one place. Like anything else, without a clear roadmap and the ability to track progress, we can easily lose sight and fall short of our financial goals. 
As someone who wants to be very mindful about excessive spending and develop savings for both the near and long-term future, Rocket Money is perfect for setting up budgets and tracking monthly expenses by category. With friendly reminders and notifications, as well as fantastic visualizations of your spend-to-earn ratio, it's super easy to trim out the financial fat and stay on track. And right within the app, you can identify unwanted, forgotten subscriptions, and with a single tap, Rocket Money will cancel the subscription for you. As you improve your habits and grow your savings and investments over time, Rocket Money provides a clear, holistic picture of your net worth so you know exactly where you are relative to the destination of your financial goals. Personal finances can be overwhelming on your own, but with Rocket Money, it's easier than ever to spend less and save more. Go to rocketmoney.com slash pursuit of wonder or click the link in the description to download and unlock even more features with premium. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching in general and see you next video.